Hey guys, it's Lucky here from Element and uh, it's another week. It's Saturday, I'm heading out to film some horse riding with Athra. That's the Trail Horse Association and they are um, doing some promo video work over the next couple of days and at another event to put together a promo about why people should join the club. So I'm doing that. Scott's out at the Rat Summer Sprint Cycling event. So we are having a busy weekend. Let's do it. Australian Trail Horse Riders Association weekend where club members can come along and uh, uh, spend the weekend not just trail horse riding but also doing obstacles and all sorts of cool stuff. So it's a, it's really cool to showcase what they do out here and check out that backdrop with Biwa right behind. We're at a place called Linden Park, a privately owned uh, property with camping, a horse arena. It's really cool and I'm learning a bunch of stuff I did not know about horses. I'm done for the day. I am gonna go to sleep. There's some people still listening to live entertainment. Yeah, I'm a bit sleepy, I'm going to bed. Oh, we're gonna get up early in the morning and do... Um, film some more scenic shots, riding the horses up over some nice terrain. That should be good stuff. Let's go see what Scott's up to over at Rat Summer Sprints. Hello, so I'm here at the Rat Summer Sprint down in Kringle Scout Camp today. A lot of fun and action, kids, all ages, families, doing a bunch of cross country mountain biking. Kind of wish I was racing it actually. So I'm now walking to my position to spend the rest of the day. I'm on this sweet little bridge spot. I've got my flash set up externally to really take advantage of the light and just make everything pop a little bit better. Oh, here comes a rider. Ooh la la. One of the other things we always put on our cameras is a polarizer. So these are super good when it comes to green out colors a bit more, like skies, blues, greens, whatever. It really makes things pop. I cannot recommend these enough. They also have the added bonus of protecting the lens a little bit. So you can buy them for all different um, lenses. But there's an off and an on, so you just got to spin it to adjust with the sun, so that little arrow is always pointing at the sun. I'll take a couple of photos so you can see the difference. So that's with the polarizer on. You can see that uh, you get a fair bit more color on the leaves and the plants. So here's another example. That's with the polarizer off and that's with it on. No other settings change. It's just purely whether the polarizer was turned towards the sun or against it. 100% recommend one, especially if you're trying to get into mountain bike photography or anything outdoors. It is the best. We are having our morning meeting. What is on our week today? Well, we've got some editing to do. All that green stuff is editing. We've got a shoot tomorrow afternoon. It's only a three day week, really. A couple of days off, back into it. I'm gonna finish the doco. Maybe this week or next week. The, oh, short, the short version of the Neighborhood Play Project. What have I got going on then? There's polishing up a few loose ends. My um, shoes, the car. Yeah. <laughs> Get to work, man. Shoot up. <laughs> All right, I'm in front of the computer. Here we go. I'm gonna do some work on the Neighborhood Play Project. This is the 30 minute version. 
We cemented our understanding that kids need unstructured, free, risky play to develop socially and emotionally. Uh, in terms of their social development, you know, we are definitely seeing more socially stunted children. So in terms of the original documentary, um, it's a 90 minute long feature docu uh, doco that took about 500 post-production hours in total for me to put together. And it kind of all, like the direction and the storyline in a way fell on my shoulders because I was the one deep in the edit. I did it by basically, I, I transcribed or partly transcribed all the footage and put it in like tables and spreadsheets and stuff and looked through it and went, okay, how am I gonna pull this all together? Looking at the options that I had, because there was, you could do it chronologically, but there was also themes that grouped well together where you'd be taking footage from different sessions chronologically and piecing them together by theme. So there are all these options on how the actual story would come together and the timeline in the doco. Kids are gonna be curious. They're gonna to wanna to know what's out there and they're gonna to wanna to connect to it. I think it is possible that kids can go out and play independently. And I think we can get to that point but as a community, we all need to come together to do that. For putting this shorter one together, it was, I guess, easier because I was just working with the, 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 the doco, 90 minutes long worth of footage and taking bits from that and piecing together a voiceover to go, to go along with it, as opposed to a timeline with the original one that was about two days long, chocked full of footage, um, which was insane. Poor James is peering through everyone's fences and windows and car doors to look for signs of children. No kid. Prime playtime right now. Uh, we should be seeing streets full of children. I, uh, I think we've just subconsciously been avoiding the office because it's so messy. Oh, yeah, you should really do something about it. Let's get this place tidied up, hey? What do you mean, let's? Sorry, I'll leave it to you. What? Let's see you guys here. Scheduling some posts, man. Oh, yeah. I feel like this space doesn't compare to Assembly HQ, man. No, I actually <laughs> I really like Assembly HQ. Well, uh, if we just get Jared in here to make us some coffees and... It's coffee time. <laughs> yeah! Twice a day, Lockie says, Scott, you can have coffee now. <laughs> Scott, you're like a puppy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Speaking of... <gasps> you got any photos? Here she is. Oh my god, look at her. Isn't she the cutest thing ever? They do refunds, like if it like, eats all your stuff at home. <laughs> oh, you can have it. You can have all my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it is Thursday and today we have got a shoot later on. We're going to go do some... Um, some interviews with the people behind the Gateway to Industry School program in the advanced manufacturing industry, and that's going to be pretty cool. So today's shoot, QMI Solutions, they obviously know a lot about advanced manufacturing. And this video will be played prior to any, like there might be teacher PD events, yeah. um, other schools events. So we're heading home, we are going to oh, try and wrap up, bust out a big, big day tomorrow. We are also going ahead with a Swim the Island promo video for a new event coming up at Majimba Island. It's been fun, a little beach trip. Beach trip, get some swimmers. Mm -hmm. Speedos. <laughs> I mean, film some swimmers. All right. <laughs> Not get some, <laughs> get my boardies on, yeah, my DTs. I will spare you guys. I will not wear my DTs on camera. <laughs> Just for school. On my camera. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thanks for joining us for another week of Element Adventures. Uh, we hope to see you next week. Remember, give us your feedback on what you want to see from us, uh, whether it's more video editing or us goofing around or a bit of both. Um, and we're always happy to branch out with our content. I did it. Yes! yes! <laughs> oh. Uh, might just be me next week, guys. <laughs>